Okay, I've been seeing angel numbers literally all afternoon, and I see angel numbers on the regular basis, but I kid you not, when I've seen, okay, so the numbers 999-555-222 and 777, in the past hour, in the past 60 minutes, I've seen those numbers on repeat probably 20 times, like, like coming at me to the point where I'm like, what is going on here? Like, this is actually freaking me out a little bit because I see them throughout the day, but never that many times and never that many times in a row. So I thought that I would sit down and pull some cards and see what the angels have to say, because I feel like they're trying to tell us something. <sighs> okay, let's focus in and receive this message. I love it already. We have the hermit card coming out, the seven of wands. Okay, I love that even more because I'll tell you here in a moment in the Ace of Swords. So we have the Hermit, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So you may resonate with this, take it as it resonates, but lately there's been kind of this, I don't, it's like almost a bothersome energy of like somebody um, like pulling at your energy, grasping for your energy. And it's like somebody who appears as innocent. It's like somebody who s claims to have good intent, right? Like claims that they're not here to hurt anybody. But there's something about their energy that's a little off right now. So this could be a friend of yours. This could be a family member, whoever it is for you. It's There's something off about this person. And it's not necessarily something that you need to protect yourself from. But it's rather just something to be aware of, something to be cautious of. And it's almost like be in your power with this person. Like understand your worth, understand your value, and understand that your time is not free. And not in a sense of like, it, it's more just like your time is valuable. And I don't think that this person really appreciates that the way that you're deserving of. And that's what the universe is trying to tell you. And it's not just this one person. It's kind of the energies of a lot of people is what I mean shown. It's like a crowded room um, and you're just kind of being pushed around. And it's not until you stand up and use your voice and kind of put that sword in the ground saying, no, this is who I am. This is what I deserve. It's almost like claiming who you are to the universe, like saying, listen, like, <laughs> I don't know why I just got like this burst of energy, like, listen, and it, here's the thing. We're going to take it down a notch because I want it to be calmer. It, it should, it should be just like a matter of fact, like you shouldn't have to like get all upset and, and, um, emotionally, like Karen mode, uh, to express your value or your worth to someone or something. It needs to be one of those things where it, it's almost like when someone disrespects you or when somebody comes to you with a disruptive energy or an energy like trying to take from you or trying to manipulate you, it kind of, you need to be in this power of that's weird. Like, no, thank you. I'm good. And it's kind of like this sense of calmness versus the energy that you, it's almost like you had to do this as a child where you had to like get really frustrated or really angry in order for people to, to listen to you or hear you or even see you like acknowledge your existence. And so right now this feels like a pretty big energy that you're f being faced with. And, and it's an energy that's attached to your childhood somewhere. And like I said, it's that energy of not being seen, not being heard, not being cared for in the way that you are deserving of and were deserving of then but you have the power and you have the ability to it's almost like be that calm nurturing figure that you needed when you were younger and with the seven of wands this makes me feel like it's related to family in some sense um or somebody who reminds you of a family member that could also be um why i'm picking up on this energy but it's almost like needing to like I said, it's like needing to nurture the child in you. Um, I feel like you're somebody who is always protective over your siblings growing up. Like this feels like you're being protective from a, or you're like coming in between a parental figure or like you always had to stand up or be the parental figure from a young age. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like, you it's strange because what's coming through it's almost like spirit is like stop viewing this as such a bad thing like stop viewing your childhood or what your child experiences or even like your life experiences as things that happened to you or or things that were unfair because while all of that may be true it's like 
you have the power to look at that as your greatest strength now and you have the power to turn it's like almost like turn your shadows into gold dust is what i'm hearing and with the hermit card here this involves a uh, confirmation honk this involves a lot of introspection this involves <laughs> double confirmation a lot of time being in your own energy and really getting clear on what it is you see for yourself like who it is you wish to embody okay so what's happening right now is it it feels like it's like the time to step into who you're trying to become is now it's like for some reason these next couple months feel like a preparation leading up to something and it's like a grand reveal like you're going to be revealing something or releasing something maybe this is about you kind of having like this glow up for yourself and so the need for you to really um start preparing yourself for this is coming through right now and I'm hearing you're going to get a boost of like energy to kind of help you with this. It's it's almost like someone or something is coming in to really support you and like move you forward into this energy. Like you're not going to be able to let yourself down this time is what's coming through. You're not going to want to let this person down. It's almost like somebody's entering your life who makes you want to be better, like be something more. Um there's a lot of changes happening all at once. That's what came through when I started seeing the angel numbers in on my drive home is that all of the pieces are actually coming together into this one thing right now. It's like all of the pieces have been coming together for some time, but for some reason right now it feels like it's all just like clicking into place and like all of a sudden everything just feels so so calm so maybe this is the calm before the storm because it's like everything felt so chaotic like everything has felt so chaotic maybe you know what no we were already through the storm like we were already in the storm like we've been in the storm this is the after the storm this is like like the picking up the pieces um this is the it's like for some reason i'm hearing like praise after the rains like praise after the rains is coming through like this is a time of abundance this is a time for praise this is a time for blessings this is a time for it's like new growth new growth is coming through it's like looking around whoever you're surrounded by right now is is who you're meant to be with in this next season of your life because whoever made it with you like made it through that storm with you that was a tough one like that was a lot for for you and this person and whoever else is still you know in your circle in your energy so round of applause is what's coming through for what you just experienced because that was a lot so that felt like the full channel right there like i said it's time to get focused and really it's like embody the energies that you wish to become right now because you're not going to make it through what comes next for you if you're not in your power. Like if you're not fully present with yourself and fully confident in who you are, that means showing up and doing your best. That means it's like giving it your all, like set, like surrendering everything that you've been, everything that you've done in the past and focusing on what it is that you need to be doing now. And internally, you know this, like you've known this. I feel like you've been kind of having this back and forth battle mentally. That clarity is here that peace of mind is here. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't.